So today we want to talk about what's going on with your bag of marbles. But before we do, we want to say something really, really, really important to this whole discussion. Your inner being has a bag of marbles too. And what's in your inner beings bag of marbles is everything you want and all the good feeling stuff that you are. So when you're matching up with that, oh, it's good in oh so many ways. When your bag of marbles in any moment in time is vibrationally equivalent to the one your inner beings got going active in this moment because of whatever you're living. First of all, you feel great. You feel interested or frisky or happy or full of fun or life or love or appreciation feels really good. But something else that's important for you to know, your inner being stands in this vibrational place. We gave it a name. We call it your vortex. Doesn't matter what you call it. We just want you to know it's real. Your inner being stands there in no resistance whatsoever. And do you know what no resistance means? To your point of attraction it means it's way 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 powerful not powerful enough to control what you've got going on with your bag of marbles but when you join your inner being with that powerful point of attraction already going on one who's lined up like that's more powerful than millions who are out there on the ragged edge and that's important to know it's really worth calibrating to your inner being calibrating to that frequency we get it we know it's easy in fact you want to say and you might be right it's easier sometimes often must be really a lot easier to calibrate to somebody else you know how when something happens and you're wringing your hands you didn't want it to happen maybe it happened to somebody you care about maybe it's happening to you and you don't know what to do about it maybe it's worldwide maybe it's nationwide you don't know what to do about it and you don't know what to do about it but you have that feeling that if you could just talk to this person they could soothe you if you could just lean on this person if my dead husband wasn't dead and was here I could talk to him about it and I would feel better about it or if I had a friend I could talk to my friend about it if my friends weren't all busy doing other things what we're really saying to you is whether they're available to you or not those physical ones that you want to lean on a little and explain to a little and most of all that you want to get relief from as you chew it over with them that's such a flawed premise because they're all over the place they're all over the place if you will decide right away sometime during this workshop or soon thereafter if you will decide that you are not going to calibrate to humans for your relief because it's flaky <laughs> some of them when you talk to them they'll just scold you or they won't understand what you're talking about tell me more which means you'll explain way too much and you'll put way more marbles in your bag about the thing you don't want <laughs> it just isn't a good idea to try to find relief by talking to other people who are afraid of life too what you want to do is calibrate to your inner being who stands clearly in the place of knowing your value knowing your power knowing your worthiness knowing what's going on knowing the solutions knowing where you stand in relationship to everything you want knowing 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 you want to calibrate that's where your relief is and you know what relief is relief is the feeling of not splitting yourself apart from who you are that wringing your hands is the opposite of relief and it's because you're focused upon something in a way that your inner being is not looking at it you see it as a problem your inner being sees it as a solution they're making you see it as something missing your inner being sees it as something in the process of becoming it's a different look but it's the look you want to understand and to adopt and to practice all day every day I find that I have resistance to doing the things that aren't fun. <laughs> That's what we were just explaining to you. I know. And feeling bad about it. I should be willing to do things that aren't fun in order to satisfy my intention to have fun. <laughs> Feel how backwards. It makes no sense. But hear that. Hear that. It doesn't make any sense. It didn't make any sense, but now it does. 
Esther said to Jerry the other day, because she had a bunch of stuff she had to do, finish her taxes, blah, blah, blah. There were things she really needed to do. People were waiting for her on things. Book deadline. That's the reason that the word is deadline. <laughs> and so forth. And so she sat to write with Jerry because he's smart and always around and gives her some insight. And she said, I don't have any ready to start, which is what split energy is. I need to prime the pump. And his answer was so simple. Just pick one thing that sounds fun to do and do it and watch what happens. And that's all it took. She was off and running. Just find one thing. Instead of pointing your canoe upstream and paddling really hard, just let go of the oars, let the natural current turn it. It will take you to all the things that you were born to do. Ease and flow. So why would you not do that? Why would you not follow the path of least resistance? We want to hear your answer. Well, oftentimes my path is we a childlike want to path. It's fun and it's play. Yeah, but why would you not? If you can hear our question and answer it, because we think you're in a position to answer it for the entire world. Why would you not, for any reason, just take the path of least resistance? Somebody told you it was lazy and somebody told you that you have to suffer a little because you've got some active marbles that your inner being doesn't have activated. So let's use different words because they're the same thing. The path of least resistance and the path of most allowance are the same thing. And what is it that you're allowing? Alignment, clarity, resonance with your vortex, everything that you've asked for, even things you put into your vortex before you came into this physical body. Path of most allowance. And how do you know that you're choosing a path of more allowance? Because it feels a little better. That's a really good game to play. What feels better? This or this, this or this. Give yourself multiple choices until you find what feels best. You are childlike and we mean that as a compliment. Your life does work really well for you on lots and lots of things, but you are holding yourself hostage to so much that could be coming in because you've got other people in your head, which leads us to the most important thing that you will ever hear from us or anyone. You want to calibrate to your inner being, not to other humans. That's what unconditional love is. Unconditional love is calibrating to the energy, to the vibration. Conditional love is trying to please that one and that one and that one and that one and that one. And be different if they even were aware of who you are and what you want. And if they were even clear enough about knowing it, but they're not. They have self-interests. When someone says to you, you need to do something, you can be pretty sure they think it would be to their advantage if you did it. You really should be doing da 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 da. I find that so much. Like that happens to me all the time because me being me, I'm light and I'm playful. And yeah, not you're far too happy for most people. Yeah. I know. No, you should be suffering more. <laughs> you should be suffering more because you're a freak. Yeah, it makes no sense. Yeah, you should be suffering more. And it's not fair for you to feel like that and live the fantastic life that you live. That's not fair. That's what they're feeling. That's not fair. I'm struggling, you're not, you're getting it, I'm not. You just teach through the clarity of your example. When the timing is right, you just let them know that I knew that would work out for me. I knew that would work out for me. Things always work out for me. Things always work out for me. That's really a mantra. Things always work out for me. And sometimes not all at once and sometimes incrementally, but things are always working out for me. Things are always working out for me. Things are always working out for me and then you can say you too you just get in the way more than I do because you believe in suffering and I don't you believe in hardship and I don't you believe in the devil <laughs> and I believe in only goodness and love you know what's funny I danced with the devil last night because I went to a costume party and, yeah. and it was the devil but it's just funny law of attraction is quite an interesting I thing it. isn't it that's how it works. Yeah. There are no details too small. So I'm doing it right. Just you are doing it exactly right. Yeah. Well, we'll put it to you this way. Well, right for me. You don't have to be having fun 100% of the time, but if it's what you want the most, if you want satisfaction and good feeling and fun and love, and that's the majority of what you're living, you are doing it so right. Just don't feel guilty about feeling so good. 
that's the one little piece that's sort of stuck in your vibrational craw because because sometimes I want to hide because I feel well, watched you, or but here's the know? thing if you have split energy if you know you're doing it right and it's mostly going good but you feel a little guilty then that mixed bag of marbles will bring you to other people who feel that way about you your life is too good and you should feel guilty but once you've convinced yourself you said so I'm doing it right this is how it works and when you know that and you show that to yourself over and over again and you teach it to others through the clarity of your example because you are a teacher and you see it begin happening for them then those that don't understand it don't bother you you don't spend any time trying to convince somebody that's not ready to hear it and you know why that's a really good thing for a teacher to decide their own inner being isn't trying to get them to hear it their own inner being is not walking over there to the negative zone and being real with them getting down with them being understood with them their inner being staying over here and feeling good that's why they feel so bad they feel so bad because their inner being feels so good you want to treat everybody like your inner being treats you your inner being won't join you and try to cheer you up true and I find myself staying longer than I should or listening to something where it's like it doesn't serve but out of responsibility yeah out of a feeling of responsibility or because people are demanding and sometimes if somebody's demanding it's just the path of least resistance to give in to them but just know what you're doing I'm giving in to you because I don't want to see your fit <laughs> but I know that you're not getting what you want right now I'm not turning my power over to you I just don't want to battle with you don't pick fights with anybody when you try to convince somebody that's not in the vibrational vicinity of understanding that's torture we were talking about win-win earlier that's lose-lose because you've got to give up your connection in order to be there with them and nothing good ever comes out of that ever okay because also with that I can go on and live my life and ignore these people <laughs> and that's what I feel well, like the it thing is, is like I'm just here's the deal we'll finish with this here's the thing if they really aren't important to you you could just ignore them and really turn the other cheek and meditate and live happily ever after but some of them are in your vortex and you really care about them and you can't ignore them one mother said to us Abraham if I do what you encourage me to do my son will feel forsaken he will feel like I've given up on him and we say but here's the thing that you have to understand you haven't given up on him you are just all over the vortex version of him you know how brilliant he is and how worthy he is you're not not thinking about him you're just not thinking about that part of him you're thinking about this part of him that's not giving up on him that's beaming his inner being into the human form in tangible form where he has a better chance of getting hold of it when you don't do the thing that was the easiest to do and be mad at the neighbor who's acting tooky and doing negative things when you don't give into that because you've practiced something else oh you put fresh air in the vicinity that gives that neighbor a better chance to line up well maybe a neighbor is not important enough to do the work but your dearest friends are and your lovers are and your children are and your parents are you know just love them because you're a lover not because they're lovable that's what unconditional love is I love you because I choose to love and I want you in my life so I look for easy existing matches that I can love I don't lie to myself I don't love the way you treated me but I love this about you and 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 before you know it you've got so much that's active in you that you love about them they're in your life but they're different in your life because you attracted a different bunch of marbles from them we've been talking like it's this world out there and there's that one that you want to attract and that one you want to attract but every person has within them wanted and unwanted every conversation every particle of the universe has wanted and unwanted in it if you like this video don't forget to subscribe we'll see you in the next